Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Wednesday the 16th of January. Uh, I'm choosing another one from our stock signals membership today uh, in our membership area. <clears throat> today you can see the highlighted 16 on the, ca on the calendar there and our members can choose either potential short or long fifth wave moves on the 60 minute, the daily and the uh, weekly time frame so lots of different types of swing trading uh, signals there all downloadable in the spreadsheet when we click on the image we can download the spreadsheet we'll look at that for a day uh, in a minute for the day but one of the ones I'm going to set up today was from a few days ago because we've got to keep this full library of signals and start building our watch list as I as we send these out every single day these spreadsheets you've got to start building your watch list from these signals because on today's spreadsheet NOK Nokia doesn't quite doesn't meet uh, the criteria. It's already gone past. It's not triggered yet, um, but it's not met the initial criteria they do for our scans. But it was on a few days ago, and it was on my watch list, and I want to set that up right now. So just a quick look at the spreadsheet first. This is a spreadsheet for today for potential longs on the 60 minute time frame. As you can see, there's quite a lot, and they change every single day. Um, so it's about trying to find those really hot ones from this list. Uh, narrow them down and put them on your watch list. So you see, when you look at Nokia, what happens was uh, yesterday, this is the hourly chart. So this is the Think or Swim trading platform. This is our Elliott Wave indicator suite for Think or Swim. It's also available for Ninja Trader, Multi Charts, and TradeStation. Um, but this was yesterday's price action. So this was Tuesday's price action. Monday's price action formed this new wave for low. Now, when that happened, we got the signal on the Tuesday morning in the spreadsheets because the stochastic was down and it had crossed in the oversold zone. The 535 was good on our oscillator. So the wave four had, be had behaved extremely well. It was in our pullback zone. So it appeared on there on the Tuesday. Now, yesterday we moved away from those lows. We didn't trigger, um, but the stochastics moved away. So it doesn't appear on today's spreadsheet. But it's still a good trade. And this is why you've got to build those watch lists from those signals we give you. Okay, so let's just go through the setup for this. So the low yesterday was 599. So we can actually adjust this now to 598. Okay, and we can adjust our risk reward as well to 598 there. Okay, doesn't make a lot of difference. We want to make sure we get it everything right. So, but first of all, let's just zoom up and allow a little bit on this hourly chart for Nokia on our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, okay? So basic Think or Swim platform, and then we've added our Indicator Suite and also our Black Box Breakout Indicator as well. So we've got two of our Indicator Suites uh, working on this chart here to help us identify good moves. So as you can see with Nokia, we've we've had these lows, then we've moved away, uh, and now we've had this long wave three, and now we've pulled back on a wave four, and that's what we're after. The wave four pullback, Performance has been great in the, the 535 oscillator, the top of the three subcharts, has pulled back, crowned within the 90 and 140% zone there. The stochastic uh, has pulled back against that false breakout, crossed over the oversold zone, started to head up, and we've got our stochastic signal as well there, the green arrow. So, uh, you know, we've got, we've got some good uh, credibility there. Now, our multiple time frame dot cloud, as you can see, all green with the green squares on top. Then it denotes the, pull, the pullback. Uh, this is the top row of dots is the hourly time frame. Uh, then we've got two hours underneath. You can see it just blipped into the cloud on the two hours as well. Now, now starting to come back up again. So you'll see this probably go all green with a green square as we get through the trigger there. So let's just go through the entry. Again, the wave force pull back into one of our automated probability zones. Uh, the green zone represents 85% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones here. Uh, around about 633, something like that, 632 into the middle of that target zone. Uh, so we've also got our EMA cloud in there, which seems to be holding uh, support as well at the moment. So the stop loss is once this is a very cheap stop so just one cent below the yesterday's low so 598 is the stop loss 
The entry is 611. Now, we could probably be a little bit more aggressive with that. Um, if you wanted to come down to around about 610, 609 maybe, but I just wanted to make sure I was above the highs of this day here. So 611, I'm going to stick with. It will make sure it's starting to move away properly from this support level. Target zone, six, as I said, 632. This is our automated target zone in blue up here. So risk to reward of 1 to 1.6. Now, this is quite slow. Um, we do get some fast moves. You can look on this wave three here. We get some really big moves on this six minute time frames occasionally. Uh, if we get that on the fifth wave, we, we will get there pretty quick. If not, this could take a few days if we get to trigger. Okay, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.